Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Our Adventurer Guild. And I think we'll start off by doing a bit of teamwork training for the teams that are currently here. Um, we can do mid-level uh, stuff if everyone is above level 15, which I think everyone is now. Um, not not these guys, obviously, but everyone in our in our actual teams is. So let's see what we can do on that front. We might have to sort of skip on a couple of days while they're, while they're learning that stuff, but wait, that's fine. So we'll train in... I like this one, where you can... Uh, 20 plus 20% 20 damage against big enemies. I think that's a nice one. Uh, Wild Hearts already have that. I don't... They're, okay, they're saying not all available, but Dragonbane is. So Dragonbane will do the same one, I think. I don't know how you unlock the... Well, it's probably linked to... Except unlocked through a proposal. Oh, I see. So it's a... It'll be one of these building level. It's probably on this tier. Glorious. A uh, quick reminder while they're doing that of what we're looking to do. Um, I think we'll do Ancient Tree Spirit. Maybe kind of speed run it a little bit. Are we expecting any more of those little mini bosses in? Uh... Yes, so we maybe we'll do Tree, Ice Bride, Spider um, as those come available. So let's start with the uh, Tree Spirit then. Any of our groups could do this really. Um, depends who you want to level, really. Maybe we could do like a mostly Wild Hearts or a mostly Wolf Pack. There's not a lot between, apart from the A team who are sort of quite well up beyond anyone else. So what we'll maybe do. Let's do a little bit of a mix. So let's take Danny out, because he's he's high level as well. And uh, we'll go down to Wolfpack and see... Uh, we need... Well, we need a tank, if anyone can fill that role. And they can't. <laughs> is, anyone, is anyone else around? Um, it's kind of Danny, isn't it? Or we could... We could be bold and not go out with a tank. Need a healer too, so Hemlock's in. And... Dare I go out with... A with a basically a, a full backline party apart from Everheart? You know what? Let's give it a go. They're, they're strong guys, and this they'll be over-leveled for this anyway. I, belie I believe in them. I do. Uh, um, oh, she's got Legendary now, so yep. On my other campaign, I've just reached the point where we I've done the Tundra mission, where you have to go out with a dying messenger, and uh, that there's someone who's going to be sacrificed and on like a three-turn cooldown. I, in my other campaign, knowing what I know about how it plays out, I actually went and rescued the survivor, and what we got in as a reward uh, was a legendary uh, priest armor that was really, really nice. Uh, for, it was actually for um, a, a saint class, so we haven't got one yet, but... Uh, Wherever he is, uh, Seattle is kind of building up to be that. Um, would have been really nice for him, but we didn't get it in this campaign, so that's a bit of a bit of a shame. Uh, does anyone else? I think Shades maybe will give a Strength Gauntlet too. I think that makes sense. I'll tell you something else I've been playing with on my campaign. Uh, it's been the the teleport combo. So you have the teleport ring, and then you take this. So when you kill an enemy with it. Uh, uh, your, your teleport skills normally on like a three turn cooldown and it's three uses between rests um, on a kill it immediately refreshes so you can kind of teleport really quickly around the battlefield it's quite nice it means you, you use up both your equipment slots although there are some classes that can take a teleport ability in the skill tree um, but that was that was that was kind of cool um Yeah, no, that's that's okay. Okay, let's look at Bull's armor then. So he's he's a mid medium armor, isn't he? So it's kind of the plague bearer coat, I think, for him then. Uh, we're using the legendary bow. We don't have any great swords and no swords and shields. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it will be. Um, I'm sure it will be. Is there anyone who might do with an endurance boost though? They're quite a tanky group, honestly. 
considering, you know. What does the elegant loot do again? Ah, yeah, that's alright. I mean, it's not brilliant. We could swap it out for something else, potentially. I think we go for it. We'll hope... We're going to try and speedrun it, so we'll hopefully find the tree spirit fairly early on. I'm actually going to take a few, quite a few potions, just in case. Uh, we probably would need some anti-venom as well. I mean, if we're, if we're coming up against those Lethos wizards, potentially uh, they could set us on fire as well. Let's donate. Um, skill checks now. Yeah. Um, Death wards are tempting, uh, but let's take the uh, experience up. Yeah, I mean it's uh, it's an interesting group. I'll give them that. We'll see how it goes. I mean, like I said, they're over leveled. The assassin alone is uh, just pretty much soloing encounters at the moment. Uh, Tree spirit. Where are we in terms of map? We're Fairly central, actually. Um, I guess we're kind of going this way now. Okay, that's the edge of the map. Let's head up. Oh, we have an uh, we have a event. Let's try that. Party meets group of travelers enjoying themselves. We have seen this one previously. We'll accept the invite. Um, we've fallen asleep. I think we gain BP, but we lose something else. I think. Yeah, I mean, that's not great, obviously. Um, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I won't seek out the traps, I don't think. They're not they're not a given. He is guarding an epic chest, though, which is kind of... Oh, they both are. You know what? We don't really need epic stuff anymore. Let's skip past them. Oh, God more elite encounters in this place. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. That's a dead end. I wonder if I can get to the chest now. Probably not. Aha! Alright. Ooh! So this is an Earth Potency Ring. Which is interesting. Earth is probably the least useful of all the of all the uh, magic schools uh, that I've seen. Um, so I doubt we'll use that, but you know, it'll fetch some money over at McCann's place. <gasps> Hello, speedrun, speedrun. Come on, tree spirit. Let's do this quick. See if we can do like a, a triple boss rush in this episode, that'd be quite good. So we only need to kill the, the tree spirit. He's a bit annoying, but he's very weak to fire. Um, he's basically immune to poison, though. However, we'll take Melody over and see if we can do a, a sneak attack thing. Bloop. Bloop. How do you feel about this? And we can't do another one of those, but we have got this skill as well. It's only two, so I think we uh, we give that a go. Debilitating strike. So hopefully it crits. Ooh, big build up. That wasn't as uh, effective as some other stuff. Is she she got the automatic. Yeah, she's so she's sneak attacking this unless it's got true sight which it doesn't she's kind of sneak attacking anyway let's uh let's just try a plain old hit and we missed okay not bad though we've got him got him pretty good down that's not a word that's not a phrase pretty good down that means nothing <laughs> we've got him down pretty good uh we actually have that as well let's get shades into position let's I'm going to put on the piercing one, I think. Uh, we'll buy some more accuracy. We'll just do the, we'll do the aimed shot, see where that gets us. 
It's looking like a kill, to be fair. There we go, 451. Pretty good. We may not get levels through this, probably not, in fact. Um, endurance, yeah, some stuff we probably won't use that much, but it's good to have it. I mean, that's an efficient uh, boss run. Not particularly lucrative, nobody really leveled, but yeah. We might potentially take the same group out again. There weren't any injuries there, obviously. Um, oh. I got an achievement. Change an adventurer to the saint class. Oh dear, Savage Danaro didn't take his... Um, <laughs> his rejection from the party particularly well. He's, he's gone out on a bender. Uh, relationships. Pladek and Gizmo, best friends. Rowan and Xiao, best friends. Sia and Everheart, best friends. Uh, and we can do the Ice Bride now. I think we'll take the same group out again, to be fair. These guys are all still training a day anyway. Um, Dan Danero would come back in potentially, but nah, he's uh, he he's gone off on one. Um, yeah, I was just thinking which wizard was in our group, but uh, yeah. Anyway, what can we do here? Willpower, strength, endurance. Still not particularly useful any of those. Uh, but let's have a look at oh, look at this boy, Saint Seattle, last saint. Your growth attributes. Um, I don't think I have a skill potion to give him, unfortunately. It'd be nice to nice to do that. In fact, it might even. Well, we could try respecking. Maybe uh, Saint Seattle. Maybe he can go to the confession booth. It's, I haven't done this before. Uh, but it might be quite nice to tailor his abilities a bit for the Saint class. I don't know if we get to do that right away. We do. Okay, so he's got 14 talents we can put out here. So I don't think any of these single target things, I don't think we want. Um, Saint class wise, reduce the AP cost of heal, mass heal and rejuvenate. Uh, yes, so you can probably do that a couple of times in a turn, potentially. What's this one? So let's have a quick look at what this is before we take it. Angelic Warrior. Character is imbued with holy power, raising resistances by 30 and movement by 1. Damage against enemies is increased by 10%, which doubles for undead and demons. And he can fly now. Purify evil. Uh, if, if ally, remove all hostile status effects. If enemy, remove all positive status effects and gain 3 stacks of vulnerable... Wow, that's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. Cleansing firestorm. Deal damage and vulnerable. Increased damage. Yeah, yeah, that seems pretty good. Let's take that. This one, all allies on the map regenerate six hit points every turn. Yeah, it's not huge, but you know it all helps. We're gonna take the mana increase uh, range. I'm not. We'll see how that feels towards the end of the leveling up. We'll take anything that boosts uh, mana, though. Right, so I've got nine left. I think we take the, uh, you know, the mass heal, uh, the map wide effects, the uh, protection, group protection stuff. And True Sight will take all of that. That's all good stuff. Um, heals and then gives a barrier. I think that is pretty good. This one I haven't really used, so we'll hold off for now. See how we feel about it in a bit. Uh, increase the range by one. Yeah, we'll do that. So we've got three left now. Uh, so we've got two. Yeah, I think we'll do the two increase healing effects one. And we've got one left. And I'm thinking we'll do the one that increases damage against Undensed Nevens, because that should really start nuking those guys now. Uh, good, so that's our Saint. We've got a few Saint abilities there, which is pretty nice. Uh, yeah. Anything else going on? Not really. Cool, okay. So let's go out and do Ice Bride then. It's at night, which I'm not thrilled by. Uh, okay, let's try and... We've got a full party wolf pack. Do I take them all out? Maybe. Alright. I think, well, I think it was only uh, Bull and Hemlock that went out, wasn't it? 
These guys have got 10% reduced HP. I think I think they'll be okay. I think they will. Let's take one of those. Uh, Ice Bride Tundra. I'll take some antidote. You never know. Might find a legendary chest, chest or chest, chest potentially. Uh, our, uh, Dex is pretty good. I'll take that anyway. Make equipment available. So, t uh, Tony, isn't it? Yeah, Tony. Uh, his endurance isn't too bad, so let's go with uh, that setup. I'm tempted to take out Seattle. Yeah, let's just, we'll road test the, uh, the saint. There he goes. Now, we don't have anything set up for saints, so this will be new. He can take, uh, did we not get a holy staff? Or maybe we didn't, uh, Hemlock had it. Yeah, so he gets his holy staff. Um, I guess this is currently the best we could really do in terms of armor. Uh, Stoneheart, let's see, so that's pretty good, Bull's fine, Sephiroth I don't have anything set up for, why is that? I'm tempted to make Sephiroth into, Sephiroth into a Paladin, the Guardian class is okay, but the Paladin kind of does everything the Guardian class does better, <laughs> so I, when he comes back from this maybe we'll do that. Um... I think we'll take the dragon armor. I call it the dragon armor because of the flaming entrance. Infernal armor. Because of the mobility it offers. Which is very, very good. Um, and there's Hazel. We should have something set up. I might drop the ice crown for this as it's tundra. Sephiroth, guardian, sword and shield. Mm. Yeah, I mean this is this is the downside really. <laughs> it's all the well, I guess it increases ice resistance, so actually that is a good thing. That is a good thing. Um, ring wise, we'll give him a snake strength goal now, I think. And um, what's this? The crown, crown of the magister. Oh, intelligence to forty, so that'll be good for mana. Yeah, so we'll stick that on um, Hazel there. That's probably a good setup to save, in fact. Uh, what else do we have? Damage resist down. Uh, yeah, I'll we'll give that to Sephiroth. Tony, I think we'll give uh, some strength too. No, oh, give me strength. <laughs> the Saint, I think maybe we go with well, the Divine Book, I guess. But also, I might do like a Mana Regen type thing. We don't want to over-prepare necessarily. Uh, we'll give that as set up. Food. Probably over-supplying there. And if we get a certain Book of Knowledge, we do. Let's go out. Uh, yeah, we might put Bull a bit more central, but yeah. Seems fine. So at night, more elite encounters. Not thrilled. I'm not going to seek out combat, except unless it's the Ice Bride. I'm going to start by heading to the right, I think. Hmm. I mean, the good thing about it being at night is that the mobs won't see us. And, unless we really want them to, and I don't really, so... Ah, we've seen those things before. I think it's at the bottom of the map, it looks like it, so swing back this way. I don't know where that bandit is. Oh, there's polar bears. I think we may have fought polar bears. Uh, skirt around that elite. We, I mean, it would be fine. It, it, it's time more than anything.
I don't think I quite saw into this bottom corner, so I'm going to try and go down a bit. Just, um... You can guarantee that's the one corner it's probably hiding in. Come this way. Oh, you little booger! Come on, let's kite you around this way. I should rest soon. Hey, well, it wasn't down here. It's still worth checking, though, I think. Okay, we're going to have to rest very soon. Might as well do it now. Um, no ambush to worry about. I think we'll just stick BP up on people. Oh, Bull can actually do it on everyone, so yeah, do that. I've left. There we go. Camping in the wilderness, yeah, very wholesome. Oh, oh, I don't think I've had that event. I don't recognise that. Let's go do that event. As the adventurers marched through the terrain, they stumbled upon a mound of earth, a grave adorned with rough-hewn stones. The adventurers understood that this was the resting place of a fallen Jotun warrior. Amongst adventurers, it was said that Jotun warriors were buried with their greatest treasures, their earthly possessions entombed alongside them for their journey to the afterlife. A popular target for adventurers with low morale. Well, low morals, probably, he means. Uh, I don't know if our corpse robber is with us, I can't remember who that is, but we're gonna unearth the grave. As the adventurers cautiously unearthed the grave, the skeletal remains of the Jotun warrior started to emerge. It was surrounded by gold, gems, and other precious metals, a testament to their status as a warrior. However, as they disturbed the final resting place of the fallen warrior, a palpable shift in the air began to take hold. Whispers carried on the wind, and eerie sensations tingled down their spines. Ghosts, ethereal and elusive, manifested in fleeting glimpses as the adventurers turned their heads. Willpower 44, that's... Well, I would expect everyone to be able to pass this with the exception of Tony, who can't roll that high. 44, so we need a 13 from Seattle. I think that's doable. In theory. Possibly. I mean, you'd think it would be. If you rolled enough times. I mean... Could it be possible to roll that badly? But yes, we got there in the end. Okay. Ethereal warriors started to flicker into the corners of the adventurer's eyes, only to vanish when they tried to focus their gaze upon them. It was as if the spirits of the fallen warriors were unsettled by the disturbance, their very presence an accusation of the grave robbers. Haunting voices echoed through their minds, whispering admonishments in a foreign language, their meaning still clear to the adventurers. Overwhelmed by the presence of these tormented spirits, the adventurers felt dread and remorse. Unable to defend themselves in any way, they had, let the, they had to let the souls torment them until it was finally over. Dredged in sweat, the adventurers were finally freed from the spirits' torment, and the treasures were now theirs. But was it worth it? And Tony took a massive BP loss. Oh, so did the others, but less. Oh no, it wasn't worth it. That's, I mean... Uh, six grand's worth, a bit less than that maybe. Okay, I mean, it was good to do the event and see what it was, but uh, the rewards were not commensurate with losing all that uh, bravery, I don't think. Got another event here to the right, I can just see. Uh, and, and Got the Ice Bride too, cool. Okay, um, well let's do the event. I'm tempted to do a rest before it to try and get some of this BP back on certainly St. Seattle. So let's do that. Uh, Bull, do your BP for everyone. Uh, Seattle isn't a party member here, so I don't think anyone's going to be able to give him more than 10. Uh, but we'll do that as much as we can. 
Oh, we need an ambush thing. Okay. We'll do that. There we go. We're in relatively good shape to face the boss. I can't believe how long we've been adventurers already. Time sure flies by with the right people, doesn't it? Yeah, I couldn't have asked for a better partner. Same here. <laughs> They're very sweet when it's not being outright hostility. Event! A uh, giant beast. Ooh. As the adventurers traversed the tundra, their eyes encountered a grisly scene. A group of unfortunate travellers, their lifeless bodies scattered on the ground, feasted upon by a pack of wolves. The air carried the scent of death, mingled with the icy chill of the tundra. But what captured their attention was, amidst the pack, there was one wolf that stood out. A giant beast, maybe the biggest beast they'd ever encountered in their life. They immediately knew that this was a dangerous enemy. Uh, let's avenge the travellers. Charge in. I'm glad we rested, actually. Oh, that is a big wolf. Look at that. Giant frost wolf. Oh, dear. Three misses. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was certainly worrying. 518. We know it's got ice abilities. It's... Oh, that's physical penetration. I thought it was resistance. Yeah, it's not resistant particularly to physical stuff, which means um, Tony might have a good time. A good time. Uh, a successful time against him. Uh, we could do Heart Seeker. 100% to hit. Pretty good damage. I think if we're doing that, it probably makes sense to try and uh, crit off it as well if we can. I might. Yeah, I'm going to need an extra action. Yeah, that doesn't make sense, nor does that, but the Heart Seeker does. Crit 373. Nice one, Tony. Now let's Seattle, so what should we do here? I mean, I think Ice Protection is the obvious thing, but we could do... We could hit it with that. Um... Where's his... Does he not have the basic heal? He doesn't have the basic heal anymore. Okay, that, that was an oversight. Um, <laughs> he does have the mass heal. I didn't realise that we didn't pick up the very basic pre-skill, unless it's... Oh, no. Okay, and what's this one? Purify evil. I won't do the angelic warrior. We might do it in the ice bride uh, quest. What, what I might put on there is the true sight. Because it is night time. Um, Tony obviously had quite high accuracy, though. Alright, well, we'll leave that for now. Uh, Bull, uh, let's get... Uh, his might, he might be map wide now. He is. So let's do bravery. And uh, maybe just a little health top up on a couple of those, because they did take a bit of slight damage. Okay, they've got no more wolves going. Are they all alphas? I know it's just those, those ones. Hazel, I mean... Might as well set them all on fire, I guess. Stone right. We can actually just hit him with a knife, and it's probably going to be enough. I was going to say, not if he doesn't hit, but he was got the chain attack, which was good. I'm actually going to do another one of those. Oh, he's, I just saw his 29%. Why is his chance so low? Uh... I don't really want to use up more. And that's a bit true sight as well. Must have exceptionally high dodge. Sephiroth. Well, we can do... I mean, this might kill it. Now, it's not a boss encounter, so we've still got to do a bit of work here. That one's on fire. It is an alpha, though, so... Might be good to hit it as well. This is what I mean. If he was a paladin, he could uh, put on, like, Holy Weapon himself and get extra damage from that. Oh, I didn't see that hit chance. I'm guessing it was low. Oh, got him, though. All right, Bull. Um, yeah, probably a, will a mana one now. And let's put on a dodge. 
and their hit chances are probably already fairly low being nighttime. Seattle? Uh, healing not really needed. Uh, we could do a cleansing fire. Uh, we could do it on those two. I might. I kind of want to hit that one as well. This one's dead anyway. Grazed. One, one grazed, one missed. Oh well, the thought was there. Alright, stone right. Hmm. Don't really want to go into the fire. I guess I don't really have to. Alright, so what's my hit chance? 70% here, that's a bit better. I'll take a... do that, it's going to be 100%. We could actually do like a just hit the delete button. Oh, it's a graze. Oh, chain. It's all happening. Hazel again. Yeah, I think we'll just... Uh... It's quite a low chance to hit. Let's do an electricity one, actually. Probably up the accuracy. It was a shame we didn't go to the other one, but... It's fine, we got Sephiroth. I need to... 70%. Let's believe in 70... <laughs> Why do I even say anything? I don't know. And it was a graze. Tony. Uh, I mean, this is pretty good. It was another graze. Enough to kill it, though. Oh, that's a dex one. We need dex, don't we? I think we do. I forget who for. I think it's for Christoph B. Yeah. Lots of hides. Epic and legendary. Pretty good stuff. Um, just debating if I take any potions for the Ice Bride fight. I don't think we need to, honestly. Might go and, I was going to say I'll go down and chop that wood, but it's a bit late now. That's the Ice Bride. Oh, so low physical resistance on dodge. I think Tony just sent like another Heart Seeker in. Honestly. Can we hit her? Oh, we can. It's, uh, well, we'll put on that. I'm imagining she's immune to poison. Yeah. Still fairly big damage. Okay. Now, is she undead? That's what I want to know. What was that? Uh, she is undead, so that means good things for Seattle. Uh, we could... What could we do? Uh, probably not that right now. We could turn him into an angelic warrior. Uh, I mean, we could do... What's happening? Oh, has he cast it on somebody else? Oh, it was on an ally. Oh. Okay, we'll come back to that. Purify evil. Um, what's what's the status has she got? Could he remove that with purify evil? So I want to know. No, but she, he did make her vulnerable. I think it was worth experimenting. That's just that's just intrinsic to what she is. It seems like. Uh, okay, uh, we got the mass heal. Obviously, we could do cleansing firestorm. Yeah. Okay, she's gone over there. Uh, that'll do for now, Seattle. Stone right. I'm thinking fan of knives. Probably involved resetting movement and then stealthing. I guess my question is, are we within range of the bride herself? No, we are not. I 
I might do this anyway to clear a bunch of things. Does actually mean that he can. He's got. He's, he's got his moving back. Could throw a knife. I just think it'd be quite nice to be able to do that. Well, I mean, we can. I'm just gonna have to reset movement again. Get in there. Uh, oh wait, it's actually that's it. I think we bravery point this and make sure that we hit it. 660. That's the new uh, that's the new record there. I only recently put out uh, a video um praising Bron for hitting 5 something. That's absolutely smash that though. Okay, well, we'll take the veil obviously. Um, we can lose a green ring, we'll take the blood. Um, not that bothered about the Ice Elemental's core, honestly, uh, so we'll just continue. Let's go and hunt a spider. A few promotions, Bull, Seattle and Tony. So Seattle will be out. Oh, mm, he might not be a level that gets a skill point. If he is, we'll... Um, We'll take some basic healing ability. Uh, relationship changes. Odin and Zhao are rivals. Pladuk and Alyssa uh, are friends. Uh, and then we know where the Spider Queen is. Okay, good stuff. So I'm going to get into the habit, and it's going to drag out the leveling a little bit. But even now, even though I haven't done it for ages, it's still worth doing on certain classes. Just trying to... Get a little more chance of a double intelligence boost, maybe. He's actually level 20, so he actually gets two talents. That's really good news for us. So you got the double intelligence there. So that's good. So we'll just undo that. Uh, got Tony. Might as well put it on Tony. I mean, intelligence is... Even if it's not an intrinsically magical class, I mean, why not? Why not? Uh, yeah, it's fine. Oh, I didn't do it on bowl. So this is—I just forget. It's even even when I'm in the process of explicitly doing it, uh, we got a double on willpower. Those guys, we did get an intelligence. So it, even the book would only have made that a hundred percent. So we we wouldn't have got a double on that anyway. It's a shame not to get the ninety-five percent wisdom though. I'm not going to re-roll, however. Okay, good stuff. Uh, I think the other three are those guys. I'll leave them till later. New skills though. So Seattle's got a couple. We'll teach the, the saint to actually heal some guys. That's quite an important skill for them there. Is there anything else at this basic level? I don't think there is. Healing himself? I mean maybe, but he's actually unlocked his top tier stuff here. So character... Uh, this is a passive angelic blessing. Oh, he actually can just fly now. Character is imbued with holy power. So we saw this. Damage against enemies increased by 10%. Double that if they're demon or undead. And he can now fly. I mean, we'll definitely take that. This one, summon an angel, we'll, we'll take at, at, at a suitable time. Um, this, I mean, this one's good too. This uh, increase all healing by 10% and buffs last a turn longer. I mean, it's, it's this tier of stuff's all good. So level 20, so he's got level 22, he'll get one. And level 24, so he'll get three more. So if we take this, he'll then be able to take that, that, and that before hitting max level. I think that's fine. The fact he can fly. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, we've got two for ball. Um, have we unlocked this yet? Ah, okay, we have. What does it do? Uh, restores 100 BP at the cost of 40 on him. I mean, yeah. It's really good. Uh, we just kind of need a way to get his BP back up as well. So we got one more. I mean... He doesn't ever really cast spells. We could put some extra dodge on him. Or maybe this, just a bit of protection against hard in harder fights, maybe. I don't really need him to be an expert archer, but I need him to survive, so maybe I'll put that one on. Uh, the wolf pack, are you kind of back now? 
Yeah, okay, well, let's do this on Wolfpack. They've just been out, so they don't need to go out for a couple of days at least. Um, rising Stars. Okay. Um, I, uh, the Wild Hearts. Yeah, they aren't quite at the next tier yet. I'll probably take the same skills that I've taken on, on A-Team. I, I think I like these ones. The Although, not all the parties have a Bard, of course. So, we're going to have a quick look in here, then I think we'll jump straight into hunting for spiders. Um, yeah, that all seems fine. Have I got anything that is particularly useful to me now? Am I going to get, like, a, a, a nice light armor for a priest? Doesn't really feel like it. Yeah. It's a bit of a shame. There's lots of good mage robes, but the priests uh, don't seem to really have anything that suitable. But I found, yeah, I mean, the one that we got for saving the uh, the girl was amazing. Um, yeah, so I could... What, what, let me, I want to have a quick look at what armors I have now. Um... And kind of make a decision on that. So we've got a legendary light, we've got legendary medium there. Uh, we've got a legendary um, yeah, assassin one there. We've got the legendary monk one. And I've got a variety of legendary heavy ones. So actually I don't really need to take take this any further. A troll hide one could potentially be interesting. Maybe I'll do that one. Legendary troll hide armor. I mean, why not? Got the troll hide. Um, I got this stuff too. I could make a legendary great. I mean, I've got a couple of legendary great swords already. It's just, do I need another one? Probably not. I mean, I might as well make this. I've got the resources to do it. Why not? But I'm looking forward to making the. Legendary Poison Fangs, and I'm also going to give Kristoff a little Dexterity Boost here. That was a rather nice little get on that last mission. Uh, where is Kristoff? So he's got uh, 25 Dex now. This is going to be uh, 26, obviously. That brings him up to a 60% chance of success. I'm actually wondering if I just give him all these potions. Because he's going to go into like a, a prestige class, which means he's probably in my end game group. There's a six prestige classes. Uh, I mean, willpower will be good. Intelligence is probably less important on him, but the strength will be good. Uh, willpower too, probably. Um, so, in so probably Pladuk, I think, for the intelligence potions. He's already incredibly intelligent. Uh, but he, yeah. So, who else would benefit from intelligence? Um, does Odin still do many spells? He's a, he that's actually really intelligent as well. Um, Hyper, I want to take him to Beastmaster. Is that intelligence probably not that useful there? I guess we got Seattle. It's magical attack bonus. I think yeah, I can see a case for that actually because he's going to be doing spells as well as just merely, I quote unquote, merely healing. Uh, so let's give him a little intelligence buff there. I'd like to take Kristoff out on this mission if he is available. Maybe we can get him towards uh, that prestige class. Okay, they are available. So let's take Rising Stars out to do this uh, this spider. Uh, yeah. Where is he on XP? He's actually not too bad, so I think as long as we kill the boss and stuff, that should pretty much be him leveled up. Uh, Pladuk. I might tailor some of these a little bit more. Look at that. 
I love the look of the Reaper class. I've seen some conversation on the Steam forum saying people are a little bit underwhelmed uh, with the with the prestige classes. I mean, I've only tr I mean, I've tried obviously the Reaper, Witch, Dragon Master, or whatever that is, Dragon Knight, and a little bit of the Saint. I I think they're pretty good, personally. Um, but hey. Uh, yeah, okay, we're going to have to do a little bit of tailoring here. So, Pladuck, still our Ice Mage, so we'll still take the Ice Crown. Um, the Monk can... well, I no, because that doesn't give him any sort of holy benefits or anything, so no, we don't need that. Uh, over here. Well, we've got, we've got another version of this Infernal Armor, so yeah, take that. It's pretty good. Trinkets-wise, uh, Crown of the Magister, so that would bring it up to... He, he doesn't need it, to be fair. He doesn't need it. But potentially uh, Hestipa, maybe, because that will give him more mana for heal spells. Uh, okay, uh, let's, um, what should we put on? Well, probably Determined out there. It's probably not optimal, but equally, I'm not sure it has to be. Because we're going to, we're going to try and speed rush it again, speed run it. Uh, poison probably, uh, let's donate and get Knowledge. I'll take a legendary key in case we find a chest, but Gizmo should... Well, Gizmo... Yeah, Gizmo should be able to crack any other chest we care to name. Let's go in. Let's get this done. And then we'll have some legendary poison daggers. I think I'm less in need of the Plague Bearer's Coat now that I've got the Reaper armor. Okay, so where are we? Uh, we're right at the bottom of that. Oop. Mining to begin with. I'm saying there should be a lot of resources on this map. I think I think generally we just have a lot of resources anyway, but <laughs> that's good. I don't like those guys, so I might leave that. This sword one. That is a fighting mission, isn't it? Fight. Oh, we're gonna have to fight these guys, aren't we? What what we're we facing here? Yeah. <sighs> okay. So it's gonna be like that. We'll do it. I'm not thrilled about it, but we've got a, we've got a strong group, so hopefully we'll be all right. These guys are just so annoying. They're not quite annoying as annoying as cultists, but yeah, you saw saw yourself there why they're annoying. Can Hyper just nuke them out of existence? Probably not. But we can try. She might just... No, oh, Hyper's uh, a melee, isn't she? So we need to get... We would need to get right up in there. Hello. They do have some physical resist, but then she's got some on her um, bow anyway. Uh, physical penetration, I mean. Um, so what does this do? That's pretty good. If we actually try and get a slightly higher crit chance on that, we might be able to nuke three of these immediately. Bing, bing, bing. Okay, well, we got rid of one. That's not nothing. Gizmo. I kind of want to get Gizmo in there for a... If we get her here for a knife fan. What's this? Expensive. That would bring her down to 10 BP. I don't really want to do that yet. I think instead, if I reset movement, I can actually just pop her there. Knife fan looks pretty good. So this guy's not quite dying, so what can we do to maybe... Well, she'll get AP back from the kills she does get. So we'll do that. Uh, 
So we could uh, chuck that knife, get the... Well, let's uh, use that. Chuck that knife. He dead. Two left. Um... Bye. 481. Nice. Okay, uh, that'll probably do for now. If someone else has a rally skill, I might use it. Okay, what... Season of the Witch. What have we got here? We've got Hell Seekers. Up to three times a random target are selected. Dark damage. What's his resistance to dark damage? Zero. Could be quite a good one. It's hit, low hit chance, though. We're going to have to take a couple of these. That should be 90%. I've got some grazes. I'm going to weaken him, I think. Uh, yeah, that'll do for now. Hestapa. I think we'll put the... Tr seeing as he's quite hard to hit, let's put the true seeing on. Get some accuracy here. Uh, Christoph B. Uh, if I charge at him... Uh, let's do this. Ah, that graze! Oh, the counter. Counter all. Uh, yeah, we'll keep going. I did, his accuracy fell down for that one, but he's dead, so that's all good. Wow, look at the XP for this fight. Holy crap! <laughs> oh, what's that? Sunlight Torch, Dark Resistance. Uh, beacon of Light. Gain an aura. All enemies in a two-tile radius gain exposed. Hit chance against this target is increased. Oh, that's an interesting one. I mean, I, I might probably won't equip it, but <laughs> that's an interesting one. Yeah. Wowza. Okay, Crystal P is a little bit beat up, but I think he'll be okay. Sounds of battle. Let's approach. Uh, it's group fighting lizard men. Uh, you get quite nice rewards for this, I think. So we will intervene. Um, it's not exactly speedrunning this, I know, but it is what it is. I mean, these guys are all melee. I don't think anyone of them is going to get close enough to actually hurt us. So let's just uh, delay. Shows what I know. I think he's the only one, though. Oh, that's quite a nice little group for an ice storm, potentially. All right, Hyper. Well, I think if we... Maybe go there. So a bit of height as well. Bomb, bomb. Looking pretty good. Go on, then. Opening gambit. Got a crit. Uh, Gizmo, I think I might rally. It seems a bit crazy because Gizmo's just really good at just killing stuff, but getting a little BP top up would be nice there. What's he got? Oh, we could actually do uh, do a Shadow Scythe on him quite easily. Let's do that. Well, all that it means is we've got another Shadow Scythe. Um, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Potentially get over here and... stab this guy. The Shadow Scythe. It's actually doing pretty good damage on him. Is it true? Is it true damage? True damage, yeah. Okay, well, that's knocking off half his health. Can't really complain about that. Pladdock, I kind of want to get get there for an ice storm on these guys, I think. Is that close enough? Yeah, it is. Ah, oh, you missed one. We'll do this, and... Big hit. Nice. Uh, we probably want to get a heal on him as well as we neglected to do that previously. Nice little top up for mana for him as well. And then there's Adrat. So I think if we do this, Lamo. 
Uh, holy weapon doesn't take action points, so we'll do that. And maybe I'll do a star. No, we should do that. And he countered, so he's basically dead. Good. Hyper. Maybe I'll use the bow skill. I haven't really... Oh. I probably need to buy one of those. I haven't done a lot with this. It's good damage and knockback. It's actually going to kill him. So why not? 2 to 8. This feels good. Gizmo. 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 Tempted just to come over and get some mana back. Yeah. Uh, just a little ice bolt would do the job. Oh. Okay, has to put any healing needed? I mean, not really. We could put a bit... I was going to say put a bit of damage on him. I don't think we can, really. Uh, fine. Just off B. Nice. I mean, thanks to that elite fight, everyone's going to level on this one, which is very good. Uh, good quest. They're going to give up adventuring. They give us some gold. They give us BP, which is nice. And some more XP, which is always good. Let's keep looking for that spider. It's over there. I saw something moving. No, that's not it. Oh, we found it. Is there anything else we want to do first? Probably rest. Get some BP topped up. Especially on Gizmo. Uh, you can actually see who she's best friends with. So, in the current group. So, Hestipa and Pladuk and Hyper. If they all give her BP, um, she'll recover quite a lot of it. 26 act here. I suppose that would have been 30 at full at full whack if she needed it. What else could we do? We could start in stealth. Why not? Uh, two left. Uh, I'll take some extra damage. I'm feeling I'm exhausted. My legs feel like they're going to fall off. Maybe you should consider taking up yoga. Ah, you think yoga is going to... Oh no, it's going to help with the complaining. Yeah, we've seen the one before. I thought my... I thought... It might be a new one, but it wasn't. Never mind. Alright, I think the spider is... We can probably pretty much delete this turn one. Oops. Did have to run away though, didn't it? Let's get up. Let's get right up close. Reset movement. Can I get here? No, but I can get there. And physical protection, some. But we can probably get around that anyway, so let's uh, take extra damage. And take extra crit. And we're going to need three of these. We'll do an aimed shot. So what can we do with that? That's pretty good. What about if it was one, what if it was one of those? I think it's pretty similar. But this one is more damage. Of course, it's not really a crit chance. Why is that? I have no idea. But anyway, maybe it's resistant to crits or something. I don't know. Now Gizmo probably can more or less finish this off. Uh, 66 chance of a crit, so that's good. Ah, I didn't get it. Didn't get it. What's it got left? 83. I mean, I think we can buy enough to finish this thing off. 
We'll just do it with... Uh, where's the other thing? Oh, maybe she hasn't got that ability. I think gut like a fish is probably going to be pretty good, though. There we go. I think about you and your spiders. Yes, and we get... Oh, another day. Oh, excellent. So Kristoff should go in for sword master training, I think, after this, because we can give him another dex, and he's going to level at least once. Uh, just, just the once. But he got, he got. We, everyone got loads of experience there, which is pretty cool. We'll do the leveling first, and then we'll deal with the. Class change. Oh, Dark Moon and Shower Nemeses. Uh, they're not in the same group though, so we'll just let that go. Alec and Crystal B. Best friends there. Right, so let's do some leveling up. And remember, remember, 5th of November, we're gonna. Oh, where's the book? Oh, pladdock has got it, isn't he? Might as well level him as we're here. So, what's he actually? He's got 200. Yeah, so I was gonna say anything. Above 200, you've got a chance of getting three, uh, but obviously dot on 200, that's not the case. Um, could we roll and try and get a double wisdom, potentially? I mean, those are guaranteed, so... Yeah, I mean, it was better. We didn't get the double wisdom still, but it was better. Let's get back to Adrath. I think Wisdom uh, Intelligence does definitely help Paladins. Could have hoped for a double there, I might re-roll. Could have hoped for a Strength too. Yeah, got the double Intelligence, got the Strength, double Willpower too, very nice. Kristoff, uh, let's give you some Intelligence as well. It might, st it probably won't be enough still to actually get in that, but... Yeah. We got the Dex, and he got Wisdom. For what it's worth. I tended to re-roll. We might, have, we might have hoped for a double on the strength there. We didn't get it. We got the intelligence this time, though. Well, that was definitely for us, so we can't really complain. Uh, Gizmo. Doubles. Very nice. Uh, yeah, we'll take those. Those are probably her most important stats anyway. Uh, Hestipa. I guess it's a shame not to get the willpower, but... Oh, and Hyper as well. Pretty cool. Oh, oh Hyper got a double level. Very nice. Anything there we might want to re-roll? I don't think so. I think that's all fine. She's 19 now. Uh, and that's it for the group. So the rest of the ones we're not going to do anything with. Um, but we're going to mix that Dexterity Potion now. Uh, if I can... Oh, here we go. What am I, what am I waiting for with... Um, Hyper turning into a Beastmaster as well? I'll, I'll have a look at that in a sec. Uh, but Kristoff, let's give you 20. So he's going to be on 80% chance of... Uh, Passing this little mission. Which is the highest we've done it with yet, and everyone else has succeeded, so we'll probably fail. <laughs> I was gonna say we'll definitely succeed, but we probably fail. But I I don't it's not a problem, I don't think, because I think you can give up trying. I don't know if it's gonna take a little while to come around again, but I think that should be good. So this should basically enhance what he's doing anyway. 80% chance he'll get uh, his physical skills will all be cheaper. So that'd be nice. Uh, so let's send Kristoff off to do that. Um, what else is I going to... I was going to check the Beastmaster one. So uh, this is Dex and Wisdom. So we're waiting for Hyper to kind of get there on that. She's at 50% at the moment. Arguably we could try it and just flip that coin. Let's do it. I'm curious to see what happens if we fail it. I mean, we might not. 
Probably will. Christoph B, I might save those skill points for your class change, which we're gonna... Oh no, we need him to pass the, the mission first, don't we? But I will save those skill points for that. Um, otherwise I'll probably just have to respec, so... Oh, what's this one? Oh yeah, that is good. One, I mean, I'll probably put on the Undead and Demons now. Seeing increasing numbers of those. Uh, hyper. Again, I might save that for the, the Beastmaster class. Just see, see how that feels. Don't know. Yeah, let's just hold on to those for now. Uh, Pladuk, we could probably give him, make him into a fire mage now, but let's see what else we can do down here. A witch training. So is there, is, is there any particular reason to respec Pladuk? I don't think there is. I think we've been fairly focused with, with him. Well, I mean, that is arguably one I could claim back. Oh, arcane skills critting. I think that's an essential pickup. Uh, we could also do dark protection. Or dark potency, that is. Oh, okay. That is actually pretty good. Well, I tell you what. Arcane skills critting, definitely. What's this one? Elemental fury. Ooh. This one is gain an... Okay, so this costs 40 BP, gain an aura, uh, reduce damage dealt, damage received, start of the turn, deal 30%. Okay. Mm. Dark potency could be good for that sort of magic missile spell that we saw. I mean, for me, it's either... I mean, that's good too, to be fair. For me, it's either... Because now he can crit. Increase the damage of those crits. But I think I think we'll take this Dark Potency increase. Because that, that, we, we will kind of want to lean into the Witch stuff, I think. There we go. Uh, so we're saving those guys uh, for a little bit. But we're going to get these Poison Fangs going now. Uh, they're probably equipped, so that's why they're not appearing. I've no idea if there's an easier way to uh, clear all equipment, but... I, I've looked, I haven't seen one. Uh, okay, so poisonous fangs, very nice. Craft those 100%. We could do a legendary staff of nature now. Are we still using that, though? I'm not sure that we are. But again... I'm not really using this stuff for anything else, so... Might as well. Got three of these things now. Yeah, why not? Uh, the Bow of Nature. What have we got with... yeah. I suppose... I'm just thinking, it means that the um, the bards could have a legendary bow as well. I know they don't use it that much, but if we've got the stuff, I guess why not, right? Now the Frost Ice Bride stuff, are we kind of working towards something with that? I think I've got this already, haven't I? So what else does that get used in this Glacial Aegis? Aegis but... Um, we just we got we got so many sets of heavy armor. I don't feel a, a need for it really. There's the Winter's Embrace. That's light armor. I mean that could be good for someone like um, Pladuk going into a, a Tundra mission. Ice Mage going into one that's mind you, mind you, if we're doing that. Well, it'd be good for Pladuk anyway. No, I meant Ashlands. I think going into a zone where the ice is is good anyway. Um, so maybe we should make a uh, epic level winter's embrace. But I'm going to need another ice bride veil to take that to legendary, unfortunately. 
that, but we'll kind of keep that on the back burner. Are we doing in McCann's? I think, yeah, we're still still kind of on top of stuff here. Uh, in terms of selling things, um, I'm not going to sell any of my... I know I've got three of these, but I, they're very useful, so that's why we're keeping them all. Uh, these less so. Yeah, I mean, that looks all right. In terms of other stuff... I've got so many of these healing potions now. Right, okay. Well, I think we'll leave it there for this time. Uh, when we come back next time, I'm inclined to take out Dragonbane. They didn't get, they didn't really feature in this episode. Pretty much everyone else apart from 80 minutes. And I'm kind of saving them for the next story mission. Which we may even do next. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll do the story mission next, the siege. 18 to 21. These guys are 20 plus with Bron at 22. So yeah, feels like it's kind of kind of within the range. I mean, it's, it's not above it, but um, we can certainly give that a go. Maybe next time. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, if you could hit that thumbs up button, that's always very much appreciated, as is leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this series, about your character, if you're part of their campaign, how they're doing, some interesting uh, developments, as always. And if you're watching this and haven't yet subscribed to the channel, it would be amazing if you could. So thanks very much, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.